Today I fucked up by kissing a girl in a psych ward. Alt account BTW. Also, sorry for any confusion I make typing this. I try to keep my story short, so I will leave out a bit of details. So, this happened a while ago actually, I, 17M. Remember the exact day I was admitted to the psych ward. It was the day after New Year's, great start to the year. I won't mention how I ended up in a mental hospital, but I will hint that it involves drug use. Also, just so you guys know, a psych ward isn't what it's like in the movies. It's actually rather chill and I personally found it a good place to express myself and be a better person than I was beforehand. I recommend it highly if you feel like you ever feel like you're on the edge. Anyway, after about two days of being there and surprisingly making a lot of mentally ill friends, I meet a girl, 16, let's call her Ashley. Going into the psych ward, Ashley was the first person to catch my eye. She was extremely attractive and very friendly after getting to talk to her. We would talk every day constantly, and I ended up asking for her Instagram on the both of our last days at the psych ward. While waiting for our rides, I remember Ashley asking straight up, do you want to kiss? At first I thought she was trolling so I laughed and told her to stop playing. She told me she was serious, while adding a smirk to her face. I was still suspicious, so I told her to lean in first. She did, so I decided to as well, and to my surprise, we ended up kissing. The first kiss was short and more of a puck. Then we kissed again, and then again, and then it turned into a makeout session. Keep in mind, we are still in the psych ward just in an area where there are no cameras or nurses watching. Then after a few minutes of kissing, I heard my name be yelled by one of the nurses saying my mom was here. So I awkwardly waved to her goodbye and excitedly skipped to my freedom while saying goodbye to my other mentally ill friends. So, I'm out the psych ward. I feel good, and everything is good, but I ended up forgetting Ashley's Instagram so I didn't bother to try and look for her. So, a week passed, and I'm in school when suddenly I get called to the office. My mom is here to pick me up. I ask her why she came unannounced, and she told me a detective had called her and left her a voicemail telling me to come to the town name police department to talk about something that happened at the mental hospital I was issued at. I get scared obviously, because I have no clue as to why needed to see a detective. We make it to the police station and I go in and was greeted to the detective. He makes me walk with him alone to a room where we both sat down. I felt like I was in a damn movie. He has a few files on the table along with a recorder thing. It was small. He says that I can leave at any time and not answer any questions at will, and then starts by asking simple questions like, why I was in, town name, hospital, and, what people did I see? So I'm thinking that maybe someone got murdered and I was a witness. Then the detective drops the bomb. I brought you in today, because a lady is saying you sexually assaulted her, I genuinely gasped aloud and got really defensive, I must have looked really sus. I said, who said I saw them? And, I would never do that what the fuck? The detective pulls out this photo and it's a photo of Ashley. He asks if I know her and I say yes. Then, I tell him everything from what I knew. I said that she gave me 100% permission to kiss her, and that I didn't force myself onto her nor make her do anything. She was the one that asked first and leaned in first. I thought to myself how could she do this to me? The first week I get out of psych ward and now I'm instantly being accused of sexually assault? The detective stops the recording thing and says that's all for today. He told me if I did do anything without consent, they would find out, trying to intimidate me, and that I should confess now. I shouldn't have have even said anything without a lawyer. That was also my fuck up. The detective calls in my mom privately and then we both leave. My mom was angry too, basically on my side. So, what happened after that? Nothing. The case was dropped I guess because I never got a call back from that detective or from any cops. I also called the police department to ask about the case, and they said that it didn't exist. Honestly, fuck Ashley. And fuck me. I learned something that day. Don't fucking kiss anyone in a damn mental hospital. They are there for a reason. I was there for a reason. To get better. Not to get whatever the fuck that was. Too long did not read. I kissed a girl in a psych ward which led to a case about me, sexually assaulting, her even though it was consensual. I also spoke without a lawyer. Honestly, fuck Ashley, no. Don't fuck Ashley. Did you learn nothing? So a detective calls you into a room, alone and proceeds to interview on the record, a minor, without counsel or or parent present. Dunno this whole story seems sus to me. A couple of life lessons here. 1. 
Never kiss a girl in a mental hospital. 2. Always lawyer up when questioned by the authorities. This could have gone really bad really quick. She probably did that because you didn't message her on Instagram. Original poster kisses person in mental hospital. Person turns out to have issues. Original poster. Surprised Pikachu face. I have no idea where some people get the impression that drugs melt your brain from. Today I fucked up by eating too much cabbage. A few weeks ago I made a bet with my roommate. We do this more often when we are bored. Looking through the brochures, he saw that cabbage was on sale. Then he came up with the idea of challenging me to eat 4 kilos of these white cabbage in 6 hours and keep it inside of course. If I win, he would clean the apartment for 2 months. If I lose, then I have to. I didn't think what a lot 9 pounds of this stuff was, they're quite heavy. Although I haven't agreed yet, he ran straight to the nearest grocery store and came home with 2 white cabbage plants. I started laughing because the 2 plants didn't look like much. Confident in victory, I made fun of my roommate. I figured I'd just put the veggies in the blender with water and then drink. So I took about a quarter of a plant and put them in about a liter of water and put them in the blender. So I just had to chug about 4 L of this stuff in 6 hours. Sounds quite easy. Long story short. I managed the 4 kilograms in about 5 hours and 16 minutes. The stuff ended up tasting like pureed grass by the way. After I had done all that, I was just extremely full from the large amount of liquid but I felt quite well. But after a few hours my stomach was rumbling and I felt pressure increase inside me. I tried to relieve myself at the bathroom, which unfortunately didn't work. Over the next few hours, my belly grew to a size comparable to that of a 9-month pregnant woman and that's not even an exaggeration. And I'm usually a slim guy. My roommate thought it was incredibly funny and took photos of my tummy to document it. I was so nauseous at the same time and the intestinal cramps were so bad that I cried. Held my stomach and hoped I didn't burst until about two hours later I was able to release the first poop. I shitted for almost half hour non-stop and I could feel how my whole abdomen was shrinking like a deflating ballon. At the end the bathroom stinks like someone had blown up a sulfur stink bomb. The smell was so bad even the towels in the bathroom stank like they had been washed in shit. At least I won the bet. My roommate had to clean all the mess and I was sick for another day from diarrhea and a sore tummy. Here is a picture of the plants I consumed. As proof that it really happened, pictures of my gut afterwards. Don't click if you don't want to see a gross bloated male gut, too long did not read. I ate 4 kilos of raw white cabbage due to a bet and got the worst bloating and diarrhea. I saw a recipe for braised cabbage, and it looked good, I like cabbage. I ate one head of cabbage between two meals, dinner and breakfast. The bloating and subsequent poops were not fun, but it did a good job clearing out the insides. Would totally do again, it was delicious. Let us empty our bowels. Raw would definitely be even worse because it's that much harder for your body to break down. Cabbage contains a compound that our gut bacteria can't break down so well and essentially gives them gas and that's why it makes you so gassy and particularly smells bad too. So was it worth the two months off now that it's over? Tears of joy. I saw the same exact post down to the wording except it was oats and not cabbage last week. The before picture makes this whole thing kind of seuss.